Relief supplies are building up fast. But what should happen next? An American military team arrived in Rwanda's capital to help assess the refugee situation on the ground in neighboring eastern Zaire. The Canadian general, who'd lead an intervention force, says that's top priority. The need for the force is for the welfare of the refugees. Let's establish what the situation of the refugees are. The hundreds of thousands, whether there's 300 or 500,000, there's hundreds of thousands there. That's what we're trying to establish, what the conditions are, and then we will decide what can be done. While the soldiers and the politicians ponder their next moves in an improving crisis, the UN estimates 600,000 refugees remain at risk in Zaire. We do have the problem in the south. Uh, the humanitarian community will continue its work to try to help those people and get them out. The decision on the multinational force, as I say, is a decision after reflection and after more negotiation that has to be decided between the governments involved and Rwanda and, and the Zaire government. No dithering by the commander of the mainly Tutsi rebel force in eastern Zaire. He wants to advance 600 miles to Kinshasa, the capital, and topple President Mobutu's government. His enthusiasm for a bigger fight isn't shared by many of his followers. They're war-weary.